Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Panda. In today's video, we'll see how we can download and install Ribbon Workbench in Dynamics 365. So before we start, I just want to tell you about Ribbon Workbench that how we can use and how we use in Dynamics 365. So if you see, this is a trial instance I am having. So basically, this is the subgrid. Here I am having some buttons. If I open any one of the keys, then I can see there are many buttons available here. If I go onto the home grid, then I can see there are many buttons. So this is what we call a ribbon. So to customize this buttons, to add some functionality onto this button, we would need ribbon workbench. So now let's see how we can download and install ribbon workbench. So if you are new, you would need a trial instance. So I have already created a video which will tell you how you can create your trial instance with the latest UI. So I'll leave this link. Secondly, you would need a XRM toolbox because later in this video, I'll also tell you how you can uh, directly use the different workbench from the XRM toolbox. So you can download it. I will leave the link which you can use it to download the XRM toolbox as well. So these are the only two things we would need and let's start. So first part is download. So in this blog, I have also mentioned all the things. So here is the link which we have to click. And from this link, if we have to click on this download button, we have to fill all the details and provide the email address, the uh, work email address on which we are going to receive the download link. So I have already given all these details one hour back and I have received an email. So it, it is having one button. So I have clicked on this button and it has downloaded me a Arabic Workbench solution. So this is a managed solution and that's it. We have got our download part done. Now, secondly, we need to install this solution in our Dynamics instance to use it. So go to settings go to the solutions which I am currently in so click on import and then choose file and select your zip file click next next and click on import So if you see the installation process has been completed and I have got this message so I will close it and if you see the latest managed solution has been installed. Now I will just refresh my page. So this is the button now after the installation it is visible so if you click on this it will open up our ribbon workbench and that's how we can install the ribbon workbench. So this part is also done. So we have downloaded the ribbon workbench. We have installed the ribbon workbench into our solution. Now let's see how we can use the ribbon workbench in the XRM toolbox. So I am already connected with my uh, XRM toolbox. So here if you see, I have already installed the ribbon workbench. So that's why in the tools, if I'm searching for ribbon workbench, I can see this. If you don't have this installed, what you can do is you can go to configuration tools library and from here also you can search and install the ribbon workbench. So currently, yes, so these are all the tools that we can install. But if you see uh, currently this is already installed, that is the reason it is grayed out. But usually if you uh, search this, you will get an option here. You can select this and you can install it. Currently it is installed, that's why it is giving me the option for uninstall, but that's how you can install it. And even if you uh, open it from here, it will ask you to connect with your environment. If you see here, I'm already connected. And the same thing which you are trying to do from the Dynamics 365, like from here, how we have installed, you can achieve it using XRM Toolbox as well. So 
that is the first video in which I have told you how you can download and install the ribbon work bench. But I'm trying to create more videos in which I'll show you how you can use the ribbon work bench, how you can add buttons, fly out buttons, how you can link the button with the JavaScripts. So that's it for today. And thanks for watching this video. Thank you.